And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Inflation has everyone stressed out, but that doesn't mean you should lose sight of financial goals. Tonight, we're learning why millennials should consider getting life insurance if it's not already on their to-do list. <laughs> Certified a public accountant, Ed Gardner is here with us on The Factor Uncensored. Many young people don't tend to think about life insurance. It's day and age. So how can we make it a point for them to remember it? Well, first of all, about half of millennials don't even consider it. And they're usually individuals born from 1977 to 1995. And what they do is they think of today, they think that life insurance is too expensive, but they don't realize that it's one of the tools in the toolbox for your financial future. You know, when you have life insurance, it's not only for you, but it's, it deals with other situations in your life. You know, one day when you pass, you're going to have funeral costs. That typically runs 8000 and more in Harris County. And then we have maybe some final expenses with your medical bills. And maybe you have debt. Maybe you had a parent co-sign on some loans for school, you know, maybe other debt that you have. And then when you pass away, they're going to be stuck with paying those bills. And then maybe you're single, but then you want to get married one day, maybe have a family, have children. And the older you get, the more expensive life insurance gets. And you know, with uh, rising prices today, they don't realize that when you're young, a lot of times life insurance is very inexpensive. And you can get a lot of coverage for a, a lesser amount because you're healthier. But down the road, Isaiah, what happens when you get married and maybe you come up with a health issue? You may not be insurable down the road. And then you have term insurance where it's for a period of time, and typically a fixed rate, and then you have cash value, where it's called also permanent insurance, and you end up having a savings feature. So here's a way to build up some cash, some financial for your future. And people are always concerned about the actual prices, Ed. So on the average, for someone who's 28, 29 years old, what would be the price in a ballpark? We're not looking for specificity from right. you because you're not an insurance agent, right. but for those who are looking for a ballpark fi figure. Well, you know, for half a million, someone young, maybe in their 20s, you might be looking fifty, a hundred dollars for a term policy. And that's how much per month? Is that's that per, per month? month? Okay. And see, one thing with inflation price, eggs go up, gas goes up, but here if they have like a level term policy, 10, 20, or maybe more years, for that period of time, it's going to be the same. And then on a cash value policy where you have a savings feature, of course, you're going to end up spending more money, but you have money, Isaiah, for savings. You know, then emergencies come up. I, I know one of my clients that he was laid off for about five months. Mm -hmm. He borrowed money out of his life insurance policy and it helped pay for his car note, helped pay for his mortgage. And, give, and be very specific. What type of insurance is that? for young people who are like, okay, this could be my savings account, in addition to the traditional savings account that I have, right. what type of insurance is that where they can borrow from it? Well, you have a permanent insurance cash value where you, one, one type is called whole life, another one might be equity index life insurance company, I mean life insurance, and another one might be variable universal life that has equities inside it. And so here the money grows, and you have an opportunity of borrowing uh, up to about 90% out. So I've had people that use part of that to help with education for their kids for college. There are a lot of people that I've had and counseled where when they go to retire, they use some of that money toward their retirement. And, you know, it may reduce the amount of life insurance people get, but here you have access to that cash. All right, Eddie Gardner, always good to see you on a Tuesday night with valuable information we can all use.